Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Olama and Olama 3.1 in Lightning AI in a way which it will be persistent and between sessions or between switching from CPU to GPU, the Olama installation and also the models will stay in the environment and you can pick up where you left off. Many people have tried installing Olama in the kind of regular way based on the Olama instructions in Lightning AI and then having problems that it's not being persisted. So if you press on download and then press on Linux, the standard way of installing is using this curl command which downloads the install.sh uh, file and then uses, uh, it immediately executes this installation file and this installs it in a place which is not persistent in the Lightning AI environment. The Lightning AI environment persistence guidance can be found under this link in the documentation. I'll leave a link to this in the description so you can check it out as well. So for the Python environments, it says that you can install packages and those will be uh, persistent in the environment. There's also a little video clip you can watch where it shows some examples of that. It also says something about the VS Code extensions and how to go get those persistent. And then it says about the system packages that um, system packages will be persisted and they recommend to install them with apt-get. And in the video it shows you can use sudo apt-get. But the problem is that the standard way of installing Llama doesn't put the packages in the same place as apt-get would pl place them and it's not getting persistent. But then they say, if you install packages in non-standard ways, replace them in non-standard location, there is a change, they will not be persistent. persisted. So this is exactly what's happening with, with Olama. And then they tell you um, that you can place them in the team space, studios, this studio, so under there. So I'll show you how to install Olama in this folder. So let's go into Lightning AI and then let's press on create new studio and let's yeah it's going to the cpu one so we don't need to use any credits for this installation phase so in the previous video i already showed you installing olama with just this standard command and then it's so simple as just running olama run llama 3.1 and it downloads the model and then you can chat with the model. But after you close the session, none of this will be in the environment and you will need to run it again. But here we have uh, some instructions and commands which you can use for installing it in a persistent way. So I'm going to show you how to do that and also uh, copy paste this in the little video description so you can have easy access to the commands. So now when the environment is running, let's just open a new terminal and copy paste the first command, which is downloading the install.sh file. Uh, so it's the same curl command, but we are writing it into a file in here. And what we want to do is we want to find the Olama installation directory. It should be somewhere on yeah, row 69 here. And instead of this directory we want to set it to the team space studios this studio and yeah let's just press ctrl s to make sure the file is saved and then we can go ahead and close the file and now we need to yeah, so the install it's in the root so we can just chmod to give it ex execution privileges and then we can run the install sh command and it will download the olama package this is quite fast but i'll pause for a moment so now we can see olama is downloaded and the 
place where it is, it's under bin and olama. This is the binary file. And under lib, we have some additional libraries it downloaded as well. Now we still need to add olama into path because if we type in olama version, it will not find the olama binary. So let's mm, let's go to have a look at this file. So at the end of the file, we want to add it somewhere in here, the the path variable. So let's open this in Vim and let's scroll to the bottom of the file. So somewhere in here, and in Vim you need to press on I to get in insert mode. Let's add some space there and let's copy the path in here. And now to get out of insert mode, let's just press on ESC and then press on ESC again. Then give this command W Q. I think this is the correct command. Okay, we got out of Vim and we can still use cut to see it's in there. Then we need to refresh this or load it so with this command. And now we should be able to do Olama version. And it says couldn't connect to running Olama instance, but we can I think we can run Olama serve to start it up. And then we can um, open a new terminal window to do Olama run Llama 3.1. And this will download the model for Llama 3.1. This is the smaller one with 4.7 gigabytes the model files. And we should in a moment see the files. Okay, now it says success and we have a prompt here to say, well, we can give a prompt here. So we can ask, for example, who are you? And okay, we are running on CPU, so it will be a bit slow. I'm an artificial intelligence model known as Llama. So it's, it's working and the model files are somewhere in here. And um, we should be able to switch to GPU now. And let's go to the T4, confirm. Pause for a moment, this takes a minute or two. Okay, now it says your T4 is ready, so I'm pressing on switch. And it says switching studio, so this takes still a few moments. Okay, now it finished loading up. And since we don't have under here Lightning Studio on start sh, this is just file, everything is commented out, so I would not expect anything to happen on start, so I would expect Olama not to be running. But if we go to new terminal, and we can ask Olama version, and it says it could not connect to running Olama instance, so we do need to give the Olama serve command here. And then we can open a new terminal and we can do all llama run llama 3.1 and now we would expect no downloading to occur because the model should have finished downloading already and now we're already at the prompt so this should be a lot faster if we ask who are you now since we are on GPU and as we expected it's nice and fast on the GPU. If you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.